Right, so this is our external oblique muscle. It arises by eight fleshy slips that um, come from the lower eight ribs. Um, usually we say from the outer surfaces of the midu, uh, middle part of the shaft. And in terms of its insertion, um, it's going to come, the fibers are going to be oriented downwards, forward and medial, like you're putting your hands in a pocket and they're going to have a posterior free border, but rather it's going to insert into uh, the xiphoid uh, process in that region. It also attaches into the linear alba here, then it comes all the way downward to insert into your symphysis pubis somewhere there. Then it also goes to the pubic crest, uh, the pubic tubercles and um, the iliac, um, the iliac crest, and um, it's going to form this external oblique aponeurosis, the lower most part of which is going to upturn and form this um, inguinal ligament. In terms of innervation, this external oblique muscle will be innervated by lower six thoracic nerves plus uh, L1 nerves, which we're thinking ilioinguinal and iliohypogastric. Then <clears throat> to note the upper four fibers, remember we say this, these are fibers coming from the uh, lower atrium. So the upper four fibers are going to interdigitate with the serratus anterior, then the lower four will interdigitate with your latissimus dorsi. Then in terms of function, it's going to have the same function with um, muscles on the anterior abdominal wall. And um, it's posterior free border that I said, it's um, not attached. It's going to form the anterior border of what we call the lumbar triangle, which becomes a potential space for hernias, which become your lumbar hernias, right? Then it's external oblique. Within its upper neurosis, we are going to see mm -hmm. an opening, which you're going to see to call the superficial inguinal ring. It's going, it's going to be a triangular shaped defect, which allows passage of the spermatic cord plus the inguinal inguinal. Remember your inguinal canal will extend between the superficial inguinal ring and the deep inguinal ring, which you're going to find within your fascia transversalis.